<laughs> oh, I don't have to clap anymore. Hi, this is Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. I'm Toby, and uh, today we are talking about brake pads and how to change them on a bike. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, today we try to learn a little bit more uh, about another real life skill. Um, as you can see here, it's a bike. Yeah, we, we're, not, we're not learning how to cycle. But what we'll do is we will work on the brakes today. Um, some of you might think, oh, that's crazy intense. It might be. If you have absolutely no idea, bring it to your local bike shop. If you want to learn something, um, just follow me. I want to change my brake pads today because they are worn off. Um, first you have to do is taking off your rear wheel because this isn't a way to get to the disc brakes. And perfect. And what I will do as well, I will loosen up the brake tension of the cable. What we have to do is uh, assembling it, just putting together. Um, the spring needs to be in, mi in the middle, which uh, holds them off each other. And that's what it should look like. So you, when you press it together, it's pressed together, but it, as soon as you release pressure, it's coming off again or going. What we are doing is the same what we did before, we are sliding him inside. Okay. And now we'll get the security screw back in to hold everything in place. And we'll need to tighten it again. Now what I'm doing, we have the screw to hold the pads in place, we have the security pin on the other side. And uh, now I'm seeing that the, that the distance of those pads is way tighter again. So I'm loosening up uh, already the fine adjustment or the adjustment screws, as well as my calibers, which are here on the side, which I can adjust. So now I'm loosening all the screws which, which uh, push the brake pads together, which means when you look here, this screw, for example, pushes the right caliper closer to the other brake pad. And I have the same on the other side with another screw. So I'm adjusting caliper and I'm opening up them all the way. Same with cables. We'll see what else we have to adjust. So I'm, I'm opening up everything all the way. Yeah, your system might be a little different, um, but don't be too scared of it. But when you loosen screws, you have to tighten it back up again. And uh, depending also on your, on your bike system, maybe you have to use a torque wrench for that. But please be careful. So this is not a video which will um, give you a full freedom to do anything you want to do. It's just be careful what you're doing. So look it up what torque wrench you need or if you need one to tighten those screws, for example. So I will put the rear wheel back in, placing it in here. Oops, it's slided it already. So super great. That's good. So it was easy this time. I made sure that um, the brake pads are spread enough so the disc brake can slide in the middle of it, which is which just happened. I'm sorry it worked so easy. Holding it back up, putting in this one to tighten it up again that the wheel is in place before I spin it. Yeah, it needs a little first spin and then um, everything will be loose and free again. Those brake pads, um, don't forget to break them in a little bit. Also, if you change or switch from um, your semi-metallic uh, brake pads, if you haven't heard about it, um, please look it up, to just full metallic, you also need to change the rotor itself. And uh, same the other way around, obviously. I'm using just the normal same ones I had before, so there's no change no need in that, but I need to break them in and uh, get them all nice and smooth again. Great. That's it. Pretty simple. I mean, if you, when you've done it a couple of times. If you do it the first time, take your time, look into the video a little bit. Also, I put some links for the tools uh, down in the description if you need anything. A couple of things are very useful, as you can see. And uh, yeah, just make sure you use the right brake pads for your rotor, very important. And if you had doubts that you can do it yourself, don't do it, bring it to your local bike shop. They will be very helpful and happy about it. Other than that, I like those things. I like to work on my bikes. Um, I need to clean it. <laughs> And next time I will show you how to clean it, but thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below to support and help you when you need it. Other than that, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon as well. So, tschüss!